Hello, today we're going to talk about the basics of Microsoft Windows Live Movie Maker. Movie Maker is a free video editing software from Microsoft. Now most computers running Windows will have Movie Maker on them. If not, the easiest and safest way to get Movie Maker is to go to the Windows website and download it from their download and shop section. Movie Maker is great for movie creating and editing. If you're used to using tools from Microsoft Office like Word, Excel, or even PowerPoint, you'll easily adapt to Movie Maker because its layout is very similar to those programs. So let's begin. When you open the program, there are three main areas of the screen. The first area, or the top area, will be familiar to Microsoft Office users as it will have the ribbon menu in its normal position. This allows the user to select different options, for the movie quickly. The second area or the left side of the screen is just a preview media player so you can see what your movie will look like and sound like as you edit the project. Finally, the third area or the right side holds your photos and videos in the order they will appear in your movie. If you want a photo in a different spot, all you have to do is just simply click and hold and then drag it to where you want it. To select the most popular options in movie editing from Movie Maker, you can select the Home section in the ribbon menu. You'll see that just by clicking on a few icons, you can add videos and photos to your movie. You can also add music, narrate your movie, or you can even auto-create your entire movie to a specific theme. This option will have presets of transitions, panning, zooming, and even the flow of your whole project. Also on the home section of the ribbon menu, you can create title screens, credit screens, and even add captions to certain parts of your movie. When you save your movie, you save it as a project so that it keeps all your photos, music, and the selections in one folder. When you are ready to finalize your movie, you can share it through different mediums like YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or even Flickr. You can also create movie files to replay on your computer, your favorite mobile device, or just share them via email. I hope this shows you the basics and simplicities of Microsoft Movie Maker. And as I said before, for users familiar with Microsoft Office products, this will be a sense to adapt and create something that can make you proud. 